So last time, last time we created the form, okay, uh, created the product handler, called to the add, uh, the in, in index, called to the add products method already. Um, however, uh, this time I'm gonna emphasize on uh, interaction design in, in um, for mobile applications. So the first thing that I actually done in previous video, and I think I should do in this video, which is for the form, one of the points that we should do for interaction design is that the data, we should have an attribute which is data clear button equal to true. So that, you know, when you have the form, I'm gonna run this, okay. I'm going to run this and explain about data clear button um, attribute. So when we are typing something, it's appear the X button here for you to clear the form. Similarly, for this one, it's, um, you should, for interaction design purpose as well, you shouldn't add user to input text for, text for um, 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 the input type. You should add them to input numbers so that it's just automatically validate that you cannot input text over here. That was the first point. And you probably could also add something like um, um, there are clear button equal to true so that if you type some button over there there is an icon for you to clear okay that one is the first point in um, interaction design secondly for computer it's fine for if it is a mobile device very often user are going to feel difficult to input and they may input with a lot of errors so it is good practice to um, display what you have uh, what the user have inputted for a confirmation, and if they do the confirms, then you won't do the adding, otherwise you don't do it. So this one is optional videos for um, um, validations and um, interaction design. And you can uh, do something like, if the fields is required, but then user do not input, you can inform so to the user. So let's just do it. So let's just do it, okay. So let's, let's just do it, okay, um, in JavaScript then. There are many ways to do it, but first way is I would like to um, validate the name first. So if the name is empty, so we'll do like if not name, means the name is empty, you're going to make an alert. Actually, you can use uh, a native alert, but for that kind, you need to do the uh, plugins. Okay, you need to install the plugin, but just to make things simple, I'm not going to use the native uh, alert, so I'm going to use JavaScript alert then. Uh, name is required. Or you can choose a different approach that you can change the values of the uh, label names over there to um, get the, um, um, to get the um, um, red message on the form. But then just, just make it this way. Okay, else then, if it's uh, valid there, we're going to do something like we need to confirm. So var r equal to confirm. Okay, so uh, name, you're gonna put the name there. The name is, name is, let's say name. You're gonna make a new line. Then you're going to add in, let's say uh, quantity plus quantity there. Um, that's it. And if r equal to true means uh, the user confirmed true, you're going to do the adding. Okay, you're going to do the adding. Okay, and you're going to do the adding. And clear. Okay, you're going to do the adding and clear. Okay, you're going to do the adding and clear. This one is a way for us to confirm. And once again, you could also use native confirmation uh, uh, dialog so that you need to, again, add the plugin. Okay, but so far, um, let's just make things simple. So I'm gonna use JavaScript confirmations then. Okay, I'm gonna use JavaScript confirm confirmations. So if you cancel, probably uh, you don't do anything. So if you use a cancer, you don't do anything. Um, don't do anything. So this one will, will show you with a few lines of code you could do the validations like the name must not be empty. So you want to say name is required. Uh, so it's it true though. So it not name, yep, okay. And if there is a name, 
we're going to just confirm the name, confirm the quantity, then um, um, we want to say r equal to true. Okay, if, if, if user choose OK means the result is true, then we're going to do the adding and clearing. If it's false, means user do not confirm it, then we we'll do nothing and let them come back and edit their um, input. So we will run this one again. Okay, so let me just inspect and see um, inside the applications. We have, what do we have? We have the web SQL, the product database, the product table with two products as I added before. Let me just, just, just do not input the name and click on add. So this one say name is required, okay? Then now we'll say, let's say product three and I'm gonna type something wrong, okay? Then click on add, okay, product 334. Okay, and I say no, cancel. So it, it does nothing. So I say prop 3, I'm going to erase this one. So I, I'm able now to change my input because again, for interaction design for mobile devices, it's very frequently you made a mistake. So if we click add right now, so you are going to have, let's just see, product 3, quantity 3, confirm. Okay, click on OK. Then we're going to see okay the product 3 is successfully added so we have successfully added the products with uh, um, um, some of the interaction design features over there like um, clear button then supporting for inputting numbers and um, also uh, supporting for uh, confirmations because very frequently user may uh, input the data wrongly okay Next part, we will do some other things, okay, like menu, then like loading the data and stuff. 